All right. Uh, let me teach you some mental addition. Now, don't expect from this video that I'll inform you that 2 plus 2 is 4. I don't mean that by mental addition. By mental addition, I mean I I'll teach you some way to uh, to do some addition mentally and some tricks if I, I, I I'll teach you some tricks. All right. Uh, let me sp pick a good vibrant color here. Let, uh, let me go with this yellow right here. I know you can see it now. All right. Let me do the problem. Let me take compared to the simple one. Let me take two uh, twenty three plus seventeen, and I'm taking this because I think we did this problem uh, in the previous video. Uh, the the difference was just it was a multiplication problem. All right. Uh, an important rule to remember while doing mental addition is that you have to forget to do from right to left. You have to begin from left to right and right here begin from left to right and the reason why I'm writing this is because this is an ultra important rule you cannot uh, do mental math efficiently if you uh, uh, if you add or subtract or multiply from a le a right to left you have to go to the right way or shall I say the left way all right uh, so in uh, in this problem, first we will do a two plus one, and taking a quick glance at the right side, I see that both of these add up to a ten. So one has to get carried forward. So I'll do two plus one plus one to get four and a zero, and this should be forty if you do it. All right. Let me do. Uh, this was a pretty easy problem, and that's why you could get it very simply. Let me do a difficult one, uh, or, or rather a bigger one. Let me do 257, and add that to 491. Right? This seems a little bit complicated, but you do the same thing. You just uh, add from left to right. Uh, you do six, but a quick glance gives tells me that you have to get a carry forward. And that's why I do. I write a seven, and then I write four because five plus nine is fourteen, and we already carry forward that one. And uh, because I and I, I and I very silently glanced at the right hand side, uh, this term right here, uh, before uh, you could actually notice because you can see my eyes, right? And I notice that there is no carry forward, so I get seven hundred and forty-eight. Uh, all right, let me do one more example right here. Let me do 357, add that to 121. Alright, the same thing, you do 4, 7, 8, and very straightforward, you did it pretty quickly, right? But, uh, I would, I would like to suggest one thing right here. You cannot always do uh, uh, the, the, the left to right addition in your head when the numbers get pretty large. Uh, suppose I tell you uh, uh, all right. Let me let me let me introduce one other thing right here. I suggest you to use units uh, because uh, units are very useful. Units are very useful, right? Uh, that's something humorous to me, and that's why I'm laughing. But if I tell you that add a hundred thousand to a hundred thousand, you don't actually align all those hundred thousands in your mind, and uh, 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 hundred thousands in your mind and you don't uh, start from the left hand side now and you do two hundred thousand you just fix up a hundred thousand that's the unit and you add this is a hundred thousand uh, that's the unit and you just add this two things right here and you say that's two hundred thousands hundred thousands Similarly, if I give you a problem like 1 million plus 1 million, what's the answer? It's 2 million. You don't align all the zeros in your mind. You just sponta uh, spontaneously give the answer. You just add 1 plus 1, which is 2. Uh, but let me come to the essence, uh, which I actually wanted to teach you. That this, All that I just taught you is just an introduction. But let me get uh, some ca complicated numbers right here. I'll do... 1234 1234 and I'll add that to 999 
and uh, doing it from the left to right way or doing it from the right to left way will take you a significant amount of time and if you want to do it mentally it will take you uh, uh, even more time to align these numbers together so uh, so what we are going to take advantages of is that 99 is 9999 uh, 999 is 1000 minus 1 and now that suddenly starts making a hell lot of sense right uh, you add all this to a thousand and that's pretty easy I thought you that uh, you just add, uh, just take the units and add the remaining so that is two thousand two hundred and thirty four but are we done no because we counted one extra so we have to subtract one and the answer comes two thousand two hundred and thirty three and you could confirm all this and adding with nines would have would, would have been a big headache you would do this you'd carry forward it and all that stuff I don't want to do that uh, again so you get my point right here you just uh, consider this as nine 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 hundred ninety nine you consider as thousand minus one let me do one more, uh, a few more examples actually. Let me do, um, suppose I do 1012 plus 1314. And uh, at first glance, it seems that it's a really difficult problem, right? Uh, you don't have uh, to take any 99s nine, nine, uh, so that you can uh, round off to the nearest number and uh, write it in the form of subtraction. But I notice one thing that you can do right here. You can take advantage of 1012 being 1000 plus 12. So you add 1000 to 1134 to get 2349. Did I say 34? I apologize. It's 2314, but I've counted 12 less, so I add 12 again. And I get 2300, and going from the left to right way, now notice I'm using the left to right way to get 226. And this is the answer. Let me do one more problem and I'll leave it up to you then let me do one more problem let me choose this color right here alright let me do a significantly larger one let me do one two three four five six add that to let me add that to nine 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 one and uh, this problem is the toughest you can get in as far as addition is concerned at least in your test so this is uh, uh, let me add some commas uh, for our convenience here so this is 123,456 and this is 999,991 and we can take uh, this as um, uh, we can take this as a million uh, let me see whether I have a million. No, I don't have a million yet. All right, there's a, a, yeah, a million minus nine, and add one hundred and twenty-three thousand four hundred and fifty-six to a million. What you get? Uh, you get one million a hundred and twenty-three thousand four hundred and fifty six right you just add the you just take uh, care of the units and you add uh, the digits here I taught you right you just have to make use of the units here rather than aligning the numbers in your mind uh, you have one million one hundred twenty three thousand four hundred fifty six but wait you have counted nine extra so you just have to subtract nine and you can subtract nine from fifty six straightforwardly or you can do uh, consider nine as also ten minus one but that uh, in my opinion I don't recommend it it's it's it will become uh, a bit tedious so, uh, I'm in the ninth minute so let me complete it very quickly uh, so I, I am minus nine from fifty six what is fifty six minus nine fifty six minus nine is just a forty seven and uh, yes it's 47 and the answer to this problem is 123,447 so that's about the toughest you'll get in any examination uh, and addition problem and you can imagine that subtraction will go the similar way and uh, I'll just show you what we have done here and I'll leave it up to you in the next presentation we'll go through some subtraction problem thank you for joining me see ya